You know, perhaps they should have kept in mind that old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's something romantic about this place's quirks. The squeaky floorboards and all that. I don't think anyone's ever written a hotel review that started with, I love the squeaky floors. Oh, I definitely would. I wouldn't be nice to have a doorknob that works. It works. Wait, no, don't do that. Well, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like we're locked in here, right? Well, luckily, she got out of the room to join us for this interview. Please welcome fellow Jersey Girl actress, Ali Stroker, Tony Winner at that. Thank you. See how loud I got, even with no breath? Because you were watching my, my jump rope challenge, you were telling me I did great, but thank you for lying to me, Ali. <laughs> no, you were great. Really? And you were great in Christmas Ever After. So besides getting stuck in a hotel room, tell us more about the movie. The movie is about a romance novelist named Izzy Simmons, who is up against a deadline. She has her fourth book due, and every Christmas she goes to this Christmas lodge to celebrate the holidays. And this year, she meets the new lodge owner, and there is a huge coincidence that happens. He looks exactly like her main character in her book. Ooh. And their story unfolds. All right, so... As I was reading like all the articles about this movie and stuff, I realized I found out that you guys shot this just in 15 days during the pandemic. And then there were kissing scenes and there's something else involved with the kissing scene. Yes. You know what we, I'm talking about? Yes, so every Chris, good Christmas movie has, you know, that moment, that kiss. And this year when we were shooting that scene, we weren't allowed to actually touch. So they put this plexiglass <laughs> between us and we had to kiss the glass. And it was like being at a middle school sleepover and there was like a truth or dare <laughs> and we're like kissing the boys between the window. I saw the picture on Instagram that you posted and I thought it was so funny because it's like, you're going like this, he's like behind the glass, you're here. And I was like, oh, that is so cute. So I, I can't ask if your co-star was a good kisser. So would the plexiglass a good kisser? Yes, yes, <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> okay, so the last time I saw you was right after you got nominated for a Tony Award. And Ali, you said to me, I said to you, I, said to you, I knew you were gonna win. You said to me, I'll see you at the Tonys. I did not see you at the Tonys. I did not see you after you won. Ali, we were supposed to be friends ever after. And here we are talking about Christmas ever after, and that did not happen. What happened, well, Allie? The Tony, the t I, I'm so sorry I didn't get to see you. I the Tony you. Awards was a huge night, and I saw lots of people, but I'm, I, I missed you. That's okay. That's okay. I'm so happy that you <laughs> actually won because we were, we were rooting for you, Jersey Girls forever. You're New York's very own Broadway star, breaking barriers and winning these awards. What did that mean for you to win that Tony that night, and how has it impacted your life? It has changed my life, truly. And it meant so much to me to win, uh, to go out there and accept the award and have all of Radio City on their feet, uh, you know, applauding oh, me it was just so are. special. There we are. I know. And, <laughs> I love it. And I, you know, I said it in the speech and I mean it and I, and I try to live by it every day that it's not just about me, it's about my entire community. The disabled community has not always been represented and I feel really proud to be creating authentic representation. All right, and I know I was like, oh, I knew her before she won the Tommy, but we at Pix11 can say we knew you even before then because I believe we were probably one of your first TV interviews back in 2011 and 2012, so let's take a look. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> I dream of being on Broadway one day. I want to pursue um, a career in television, and at the moment I'm writing a one-woman show, so. Oh, nice, what's it about? It's about my life and uh, just some of the stories and experiences that I've gone through. Well, I better have front row tickets to the Broadway show. Absolutely. Oh, uh, and you know what's funny? Uh -huh. Tamsin was doing that interview. Today is Tamsin's birthday. We're celebrating her, celebrating you for your accomplishments Thank because you. you know not many people can say they have a dream like we all say i want to be this and i want to do that but not many people get to live it and here you are watching a clip of you saying that this is what you want to do and not only have you conquered broadway you won the biggest award the to like broadway's biggest night is the tonys you have a tony award for your hard work and i i can't even imagine how amazing that must feel for you 
Yeah, it's been an amazing journey. And to arrive at this dream that I've had since I was a little girl meant so much to me. That's so so fun to watch that interview <laughs> because I find journals and things of about writing about the things that I want and wanting to be on Broadway and wanting to be on television. And now to be living it is uh, sometimes I'm like, pinch me. Is this real? Mm -hmm. And and here we are. It is real, Ali. It is real. And we, Dan and I always talk about how much we miss Broadway. We're not even allowed on the stages. You are a performer. We can't even imagine how much you miss it. So how much do you actually miss that live theater experience? And when it does come back, what are your big plans to hit the stage? I miss Broadway and being on stage so much. In fact, I feel like a piece of me is missing right now. And when Broadway is back, I know it's going to come back. In, with so much energy and so much passion and so much gratitude to be able to be performing live for audiences again. And I, I can't wait to see what what I'll be doing. I don't know yet, but, well, uh, but we, I, I cannot wait. It's we do know what you're, you're going to be doing this Sunday. You're going to be on Lifetime in Christmas Ever yes. After. And I'm going to have Dan tell you about his stint off, off, off. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, Broadway. Oh, Allie, 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 Allie. <laughs> First off, Allie, congratulations on all your success. It's amazing to see that interview uh, and, and to you. hear you say you had a dream and it, and it all came true. Oh. OG just said <laughs> that her and I aren't allowed on the stage. But oh, yes, I knew it! But, She's going to say I it. But I was on the stage. I was on in a production of, of um, Rock of Ages. It was a he one forgot. night only. But, you know, oh. that was my dream, and it came true. She's shocked yeah. because she's like, don't how did they let him on there? Allie, don't engage him. So, how was it? So, Allie, don't engage him. basically what I'm saying is, in your next show, if you need an extra, I'm available. Allie, you do not. I know who to call. No, Allie, <laughs> Allie, please, do not take his calls, Allie. You're going to thank me later. Do not take, block his number, get a restraining order, Allie. And, but here's it what, is but, for your own good. Here, but here's the thing, Allie. It, you and I have this Jersey connection. I'm from Jersey. You're from Jersey. I'm from Jersey, too. Uh, I love it. You know, by the way, do you call it Taylor Ham or Pork Roll? Oh, yeah. oh my Lord. Taylor Ham, of course. Uh, thank you, Allie. Obviously. Thank you very much. Uh, I love Allie. Thank you. That's just yes. Yes. Allie, like I said, Allie. block his number. <laughs> restraining order, and but I'll make sure he checks you out this Sunday. Yes. Lifetime Christmas ever after. You are the best. We're so proud of you. We can't wait to see more Thank of you. you. Congrats. Thank, Thank you, you so, much. so much. You're welcome Thank back. You. Any, and do not abandon me again, Allie. Best friends ever after, Christmas ever after. This is a sign. Hello. Always, forever. Okay, we love you. Hey, have a happy Thank holiday you. to happy you. Happy okay? holidays. Happy right back holidays. at you. Oh, I love Bye. her. Such a good. Such Did you see her face? Yeah. You're like, I was on Broadway. She's like, you were. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, when? I know. Ali's like, I, I don't. Never heard of you yeah. before. <laughs> like, Sorry. Who are you? Like, who does? Who does? Who does? <laughs> oh my God. Ali, thank you very much. Ten forty.